All right, let's talk about the uh, Facebook user agreement now. Um, Facebook has come quite a way in their user agreement. When I first started looking at Facebook user agreements, um, they were very nonspecific and they did not make any nods at all to privacy, but Facebook has come under increasing pressure to be very clear about their data use policies. And so now their user agreement is relatively specific about what it says, but we'll also see that there's a big piece of wiggle room in their, uh, in their agreement as well. Okay, so their user agreement starts with this phrase. You own all of the content and information and I like that content and information as if, well, I don't even know what the difference is between those two. Content and information you post on Facebook. Okay, that's pretty clear. You are the owner. Now, if you look down here in point one under that, however, you grant Facebook uh, uh, the right to basically do whatever they want pending your security and privacy settings with, their, with the information that you post. Okay, so let me, let me turn that into plain English. Basically, Facebook is saying, we're clear. You own this information. However, you've given us the right to use this information and you can modify how we do that by changing your privacy and security settings. Okay, so this is bringing us to a really big issue here that I'm, I'll, I'll summarize later on, but I'll present, I'll start out presenting right now. And that's the idea that, well, yeah, you could go and really think about how private you want to make all this information and you can lock it all down, etc. But who really does? And am I going to take the? Am I going to take the? Um, am I going to take the time to do that? And Facebook is obviously counting on the fact that you aren't, because once again, just like Google, Facebook is really, at, they're at odds with themselves. On the one hand, they want to assure your privacy, they want to assure your rights to your information. But on the other hand, that's big business for them. That's where they're making their money, and so it's really in their own self-interest to capture as much information about you and to keep their options as open as possible with what to do about that information. So they're in a quandary. Okay, and so in a moment we'll talk about so what stops them from just like grabbing all your information and doing whatever they want with it. And I'll come there in a second. But before I do, I want to just outline some of the, um, some of the issues and I won't go through all of these issues. This is, a, um, this is uh, some of the critiques of, the, of, of Facebook and privacy. And so you can read this list for yourself and decide whether you think these critiques are valid and whether you think that they either encourage you to continue using Facebook or, or encourage you to not continue using Facebook. Again, as always, I don't have an opinion about this stuff. I'm as clueless about what you should do as anybody else. But I'm not clueless about what the issues are. And so that's what I'd like to do with you in all of these things is outline the issues, give you the information you need in order to start making your own mind up about this stuff. And more than making up your own mind, help the world come to another, a, a new place where we understand this stuff and we know exactly what to do about it. Okay, so the one thing that's ironic about this, about this little article here, so it's the Irish Data Protection Commissioner, and he's going to do this you know, big investigation of Facebook and decide whether it's okay or not. And <laughs> right there on the page, you can like this on Facebook. And in fact, when I did a, when I did a Google search of, uh, of privacy issues on Facebook, one of the pages that came up was a Facebook page on the privacy issues with Facebook. And so it's a little bit like the, uh, you know, the, um, the fox guarding the chickens. And in fact, all the information that I came up with about Google and privacy, how did I get that information about Google and privacy? I used Google. And so it's sort of like, you know, they're, they're underneath these issues. Facebook is, is, is getting underneath the issue of Facebook privacy and Google is getting underneath or can get if they want to underneath the issue of Facebook, of Google privacy. Now, would Google suppress a page that was critical of them? Uh, my guess is they wouldn't. My guess is that, 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 that would backfire and that would really blow up on them. 